I'm Carl Salberg, and this time I'm going to introduce probably one of the most interesting tools that I came up with. We call this Bam Bam. Uh, it was named by uh, a vendor at one of the trade shows that I was at when I was demonstrating it. And as I show you when we start demonstrating this one, you'll see uh, why she came over and asked, what the heck is that bam bam noise you keep making? So it became known as bam bam. It's a really good tool and I probably get more compliments on this silly little tool than anything else that I've come up with in our um, tools that we have for working on the dollhouses. The tool itself is made by Spring Tool Company uh, out of Washington State and it basically is a, a nail set and I modify it by grinding the end here to fit the large grommets that we sell. Um, it has a spring action. This end is a center punch so that you can mark specific areas that you want to uh, sink a, a grommet into. And this end is for putting the grommets in. It always works in conjunction with the, the flat tape mainly, although I do use it for just a junction point also. I can take a grommet, and our grommets, of course, are gold-plated, so they make a better electrical connection than just uh, brass grommets do. If I want to insert this anywhere uh, on the flat tape, I can just line it up, center it, I don't need a pilot hole. The trick in using it is to grab the bottom of the uh, tool and hold it firmly pushing down onto the grommet. Then use your second hand to pull up the spring and let it go. And it will go perfectly flush to the tape and make a decent connection in here. Uh, didn't need a a pilot hole and this is MDF and MDF is extremely hard to work with. Uh, it actually took me three pulls to get it all the way down and after you've used it for quite a while you hear a difference when it seats itself. It makes a little bit different tone. I overlapped two layers of the flat tape. In the past we've used the small grom or the small um, nails to put into the overlap on those to make the electricity be able to travel from one run of uh, flat tape wire to the other run. Using the large grommets we get a much better connection and I would suggest that if you have any of those brads uh, at your house to just throw them away. They're very difficult to put in and it's ridiculous to um, use those. They just don't connect the electricity very well and that gives the flat tape a bad rap because after a couple of years that connection will break down. Uh, I will supplement what I'm doing here with the brads by or with the grommets by saying that I always recommend soldering, but a lot of people are afraid of soldering, don't want to get involved with doing any soldering, and this is a good alternative to soldering, and it does make a very good, strong connection um, by using this tool and using the grommets. Um, obviously, where the tape overlaps, you want to connect red to red, so this position right here is where I want to insert a grommet or the black to black is the second place where I want to put in a grommet. I'm going to set the grommet on the end of my tool. I'm going to line it up right into the center of the tape that's on here. And then again, pushing down, I'm going to pull up. And with two strokes that time, I was able to get it to seat itself right into the flat tape. We'll take our second grommet, 
put it onto the tool, line it up, and if you're having problems with lining it up, let's use the center punch side on here first, and I'll put it exactly where I want it. Again, I'll hold it with my left hand pushing down onto it and just barely pull up on the spring to put a little bit of a dimple into the flat tape. I then will put my grommet on the other end of my tool and it will lock in if as I'm pushing across here it catches that little dimple that we put in there with the center punch so it lines it up exactly where we want it. I then will hold the bottom part pull up and with two little grips um, we lock that right down into the, uh, the between the two tapes. I can take my tester and use the continuity side on our tester. If we have a connection going from one tape run to the other that buzzer will go off and I can stab the black on this end of the run that will measure the bottom strip that's on here and I'll go to the black up at the top corner here and we got the buzzer going off so we know that we have electricity that's passing through that uh, uh, grommet that we put in here and coming across to this tape run. Now we need to check the red so I will push into this end of the red and I'll go to the top over here and again we have the uh, buzzer going off so we know that electricity is able to pass from one strip to the other strip and the uh, grommets are doing the, what they're supposed to. You have one more thing that you need to check and that's to go between the red and the black and make sure that the buzzer does not go off. If it does go off you have a short that you created somehow uh, by overlapping the red to the black somewhere. So I always make those three checks, red to red on the two different runs, black to black on the two different runs, and then red and black on a, on a single run will determine whether you made a mistake in what you were doing. That's all there is to, to using the, the Bam Bam. One of the main purposes that I use Bam Bam for is in putting in uh, an outlet in the dollhouse. Um, so we'll show you how we can do that by using the gauge that I, that I have. I can line up and let me take a different board that I have here because this was set up with the tape using the gauge and I'm exactly the center part of this tape uh, on here. If you're not sure how to use a gauge, this would be on the bottom of the dollhouse and we would be having it on the wall on the back side of the dollhouse. And I'll show you later exactly how I would do that. Um, you can take your pencil, put it into the corner here, and then run all the way across to give you a line as to where you need to uh, lay the tape down. Um, on the gauge, I have different um, holes cut out for all of the different um, uh, apparatuses that you can put into the dollhouse, the different wall outlets that you can put in or the ceiling adapters and so forth are all marked on here. What I'm going to use are these two holes that are right here and they're going to um, show me where I need to put the large grommets so that when you have one of the large plugs on the end of a lamp they'll plug right into the uh, the grommets and it's an alternative to buying those uh, outlet plugs that you can get that stick out away from the wall. This is a nice flat uh, piece that you can put in there. Uh, I'll mention another thing is in using the gauge if you 
put your tape wire around the dollhouse for outlets. Uh, make sure that you take into account any flooring that you might put in. So if you're putting hardwood flooring in, you want to add the distance of that hardwood flooring before you run that line on the tape. Uh, the whole advantage of the gauge is that you can run your tape wire in there, wallpaper, and finish out the dollhouse and then come back with the gauge on the floor and you'll know exactly where you need to put these holes to line up with the tape on there. If I line this up to the bottom of the board, which would be the, the floor, I can go ahead and take uh, a pin and go into the, uh, the holes that are on here and mark the tape that's underneath. Two of the advantages of this, by putting this tape wire or the gauge on the, the tape, I'm going to get those two grommets lined up perpendicular so they'll look really nice as an outlet going into the dollhouse. Now I'm going to come back and I'm going to use the center punch part in there just to make that dimple a little bit larger. And if you notice, I didn't use much pressure on the spring. Now I can come back and put the grommet on the end of the tool. And I'll go into the top one there, and of course it lines up perfectly with the little dimple that I put in there. And I'll put down grommet one. And do the same thing down here. It goes in a little bit easier. This is a piece of poplar that I'm working on. But I've got my two grommets in there. And if we did it right, I can plug in the power supply to give us current on that strip. And then I can bring my lamp, my floor lamp, and we can plug it right into the, the strip. And that works very well as a um, as an outlet. The other thing is for people wanting to bring wires in from a say a ceiling lamp that you're going to bring down to a strip or a run on here we can also take one of the grommets insert it to our tool and put it into the middle of our line and I'm just going to put it down just a little bit so it's not all the way down but it gives us enough protruding up that I can take a wire I've stripped the end of the wire so that we have just about uh, oh a half an inch of bare wire that's on there I can take it and I can wrap it around the head of the grommet. Say this is your wire or the light wire coming from a chandelier or something like that. We then can go in here and we can put that one more. Now that makes a good connection to the tape and we've got our wire that would be going to a light. Um, wherever my tool went here, I can put it on the continuity. We can verify that we have a good connection by holding the bare end of this wire here and just touching one of the grommets here. And it tells us that we have a good connection coming through the wire into the grommet. And for those that refuse to solder, that is a good alternative and it does make a very good permanent connection. In a minute here, let me flip up and we'll show you putting one of these outlets actually into the dollhouse. So if we're going to go ahead and put an outlet into our dollhouse now, I've already run the flat tape all the way around and I used our gauge to do it by putting the gauge on the wall, 
I can put a pencil in the corner and I can run the gauge right across the floor that puts a pencil line where I need to line up the flat tape all the way around the room. I actually put the clear part of the tape touching the pencil line on there and it'll give me perfect alignment for when I come back after the dollhouse is decorated and you have wallpaper covering everything. I then can put the gauge down on the floor and where I uh, put the pin in here to mark the outlet, it'll be in perfect alignment to the flat tape. Now keep in mind that if you are going to be putting flooring down onto the dollhouse, you need to actually draw your line. Say if this was going to be our flooring strip, you need to set that down into the corner and run your line with that down so that when you come back after you've decorated everything, you'll be at the right height of the, the gauge. Then I want to take my gauge and on the center here I have two holes that are marked grommets for when we want to um, put grommets into the flat tape for one of these outlet uh, plugs that would be on a, on a lamp that we want to plug into the uh, wall on the dollhouse. And I'll come across here, line this up to where we need it to be, and I'm just going to take the pin and stick it right into the hole here to mark it on the flat tape where we need to go. I'll then take Bam Bam and take the center punch uh, this is where I made the, the marks on here. I can find that exact place on here, hold it and just put a little bit of a dimple in it. Then come back with a grommet, put it on the other end of the tool and find where that lines up perfectly. Push against the wall or the grommet, come back and hammer that in repeatedly until you get it flush to the tape. Grab the second one put this one just a little bit more in there and we have the grommets are lined up in here now so that we can come back with our light. We've got the plug and we should be able to plug in our light into the, the wall and that's a good easy way to put plug connections or outlets around the dollhouse. It's perfectly flat you can actually do it before you wallpaper it, uh, but it's a little bit neater if you can wallpaper first and then put the, the grommets in. And that's another use of the uh, Bam Bam tool and it works real well. Let me note again that we didn't have to put a pilot hole in at all. We just put the grommet on the end of Bam Bam and shot it directly into the wall.